Hello, Z-Bird. In today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are checking out the E-Leader 4K. This incredibly long-range charger is paired up with the Ink Mine and the Wave Breaker. Will I be able to take out our enemies, or will we get splatted every single time? Let's find out together. So the E-Leader 4K is a bit of an intimidating one for me. It has the highest range just about you can get on a charger or just any weapon. Has very low charge speed, higher, very low mobility, but it has the ink bind and the wave breaker too. So we're just gonna give it everything we got. We'll just try our best to do well with the charger for once. So what we wanna do here, of course, is to go to the lobby and just give it a try. So right over this way. So this weapon's pretty famous for a lot of big Charger fans playing it, and you can see it doesn't quite reach, but it goes real far. So about here is all we need to be getting some crazy splats, and if anybody is around, we get to knock them down. The only issue with that, of course, is that, and you know, obviously you don't need the full charge, it, is it takes a lot of dedication to do that, a lot of aiming, precision, and timing required. So you could also do something like that too. Sometimes the double tap is a little bit better than just a singular. Obviously, not much of a turf war weapon, so gonna be a little bit difficult in that way. But you know, it could be worse, it could be worse. We get the Wave Breaker and the Ink Mine, so what's really cool about that is anybody's trying to come up on us, we can start tracking them like that, know exactly where they are, and use that information to miss them entirely. That's probably what's gonna happen, and I can also protect behind me with one of the Ink Mines. If an enemy shows up, they'll hit that, get exploded. You know the deal. Can we do well with it is the question here in turf war with Umami Ruins and Manta Maria? Maybe we can, maybe we can't, we'll find out. Okay, our first round is the Manta Maria. Oh, this one's gonna be intimidating for sure. I'm not really expecting to win too many turf wars here uh, for obvious reasons, but I think I can at least give it my best shot. We'll see what we end up doing. And I know I'm still gonna help the team cover turf. And this will be a good opportunity to warm up. We can figure out how the ins and outs of this weapon really work for us and maybe we can secure a splat or two. That's all I'm asking for, nothing too crazy. Uh, and if we can find a way to keep the enemy splatted, then I suppose we might be in a good enough position. Oh, oh, almost got you. So that's what I'm saying, it's not just range and precision, but also timing, that's super important. Oh, there's somebody behind me. That's where I needed to set up the mine, but I sort of forgot about that part. So really gotta be careful that when we are camping out at a spot, make sure it stays protected. I'm gonna jump out here for now land like this. Now, are you kidding me? Okay, great. <laughs> Not the best start, but that's okay. We'll just hop right back into it. It looks like I can help out with a Booyah Bomb over there. Definitely help my team try to finish some of this stuff up. And then if I could just, oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, come on. Gotcha. Oh, scary. Got you. Okay, first spot. Could have been better, could have been worse, but it's something for sure. So I will get this here maybe. And then if I could just, fill some of that stuff up. I mean, I think we wanna be able to do too much from over here, but oh, we can do stuff from over here, you know? Okay, so tossing that over, hopefully giving my team an opportunity just to maybe catch up a little bit. Oh, I got you, I landed the shot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, almost, almost, I gotta run. I gotta run and refill. Filling this stuff up as much as I can. They're really trying to toss some stuff over. I put that ink mine right there, fill back up. Ooh. They're trying to find ways over. If they explode right over there, then maybe I can get them. I need to be also covering up turf, is the hard part. Okay, I missed that one. I need to aim up a little bit higher. Okay, it's broken. Then I see you over there! Come on, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't be a bully. Okay, I'm getting up this way then. Come on. Oh, it's so hard to find the opportunities to sit there and aim without them just being able to walk up and just totally destroy me. We're in danger. Come on, ah, oh, the worst, the worst right now. Ooh, come on, I'm trying to catch up with them too, which maybe not the thing I should be trying to do is play catch up. Yeah, I can at least destroy that pretty easily. I can set up another one of the mines, I think, right here. And then if they try to chase me, I might be able to do something. Ooh, ah, oh, come on. I'm throwing the wave, the wave breaker over. Maybe that's enough to do something. Maybe I can at least be some kind of tool for my team here and just cover up some ink, just like that. Oh no, it got the X mark on there, but it wasn't enough. I mean, maybe we can find a way to turn this back around, but I'm very doubtful at the moment. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to cover up turf where I can. I got one splat and that was it. And yeah, not one in this one. Like I said, sort of what I was expecting. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes with a weapon like this and a game mode like this, in my opinion. So we'll do two more rounds with Turf War just to get like a good idea with it, but then we're gonna pretty quickly just switch to some other game modes and see if we can't make a better impact there. That was our first round with the E-Leader 4K. It was tough. Fully expecting it, but yeah, it was pretty tough. We get one gold medal, but the Splat of the Sisters was the base defender and in consumer. It's something, I mean, we got our special off, what was it, twice? That's not so bad. Round two at the E-Leader 4K, this time on Umami Ruins. Let's see what's going on. Got the, quite the team on our side. They do have an Aero Spray player. Just anything with a lot of turf coverage is gonna be really scary compared to us. So, cover this stuff up as much as we can. Get down this way, try to do the same thing. Gotta just make sure that I'm also keeping my ink well reserved. Might not be able to get every inch of everything, but no, it's also not entirely my job to do that, so. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's gonna toss that way over there. Did they try to beat me up for it? Maybe I could just bring the fight back to them. This is just ridiculous. I'm trying to aim them, I just can't, I panic. Oh my gosh. So, they're able to get it there. Maybe I'll jump to this. That'd be a nice little place to set up for sure. So, I'll land right over here, because they're definitely gonna try to hop on top of me, right? Oh, that would've gotten them for sure too, right? <laughs> I hope. I'm low on ink already, so it'll just refill super fast. Ooh, I'm not over here. I'm definitely not over here, right? Okay, uh, they might try to sneak up on me again. If that happens, then I probably just want to get over there or something. I don't know where they backed off to, but I'm just trying to run. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! Oh, come on, they're really using the map to their advantage here. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm not normally good at chargers. <laughs> to begin with, so playing the charger weapon isn't going super well for me. Okay, at least I'm getting rid of the, the little uh, sprinklers at something, right? Come on, that, okay. I need to aim higher, I think is one of the things I'm really struggling with right now. I will just set up more of these, and you know what, sometimes I might just have to do this the old fashioned way and just play like it's a turf covering weapon. The problem is they just walk up and immediately end me. Uh, so I can't really do that too often. Um, but you know, we could at least get back out. I mean, we're not in danger right now, so if I could just get out this way, and then, oh, come on. They just move too quick for me. I just never know exactly where they're gonna go. Never good at predicting it. Uh, I'll at least try to destroy that thing. That takes too many hits. Here, put this here, now we're in danger. Spoke too soon before, but I can at least get this covered up. Um, maybe if I'm fortunate, I can get this stuff here. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. Just like that. I need the wave breaker. There it is. Toss that over. If they try to destroy it, I can maybe destroy them. Okay, I got rid of something there. Uh, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Oh, back over here, I guess. I'll put the mine down. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's the best spot of today for sure. Wow, 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 wow. Uh. Like I said, I'm not expecting to get too much else done. If I could just get some turf covered, I'd be happy with that. Um, a little bit more of a bold and brash attempt, but then we had three enemies on us. You'd think that'd maybe be enough that our teammates can maybe jump over and get some extra stuff done. Who knows at this rate? Um, all right, getting over here. We got two seconds left. Ah, could have been better. Could have been better, but I mean, at least I got one cool spot out of it. They're jumping off the platform and I got them good. It was a better situation than last time, I think, but still not quite enough for a win. So maybe we're heating up a little bit. Maybe we can make the next one a victory. We'll have to wait and see, but oh, is it tough. Really, really tough weapon. In my opinion, probably the toughest weapon in the game, uh, but you know, that changes for everybody. Okay, we can only get two silvers this time, Wave Break User and Splat Assister. And that was number two Splat Assister. So we definitely didn't do as well as the last round in some aspects, uh, but I got two splats, I only got one last time, so I don't know. You, you, you win some, you lose some. But this time we're, we're still losing some. All right, we're back to Manta Maria. I feel like we struggled more here than we did Umami Ruins. That is a bit of a concern, but I think it's still possible that we can get a win here. So if we just focus on covering up turf wherever it's needed to be covered up. We do have the Aero Spray player on our team this time, which feels nice. At the least, I might not be able to be a good leader 4K player, but at least I could be one that tries to cover some turf, you know? 
At least in that way I can help my team. I got the Wave Breaker out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rush out this way, go somewhere like this, and then as soon as I can, um, get into trouble. Oh, I need to run, need to run, need to run. I think that's my best bet. And then, whoa, that was weird. For a second they were down there and then they went back up. Definitely some connection issues. Oh, come on, got them. I was at least able to help with getting them. That honestly could have been a lot worse. I don't know who was lagging out, if it was me or them. Okay, I tried to get rid of that. I didn't quite do it. Uh, let's get back down here. And if they try to get up that way. Oh no! Button this down. Getting rid of that. I'm trying to help out. Oh, I need more ink. Now that I got it, you guys are doing great. You don't even need me. Oh, come on. Once again, I need to aim higher or something. I mean, it gave me the X. I thought I was safe, but it never seems to work out that way, huh? Where did they go? Where did they go? I don't know. So I will just try to shoot over that way. Thank you for the shield. Um. Uh, oh no. Uh, time to run. I'm just getting out of there. I'm just not gonna deal with it. Put the mine down, and then come on. I got them at least a little bit. I got the spot on there. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, they don't know that I'm. Over here, they do know that I'm over here. <laughs> I was so close to the wave breaker too, I should've probably just focused on that. Ah, oh, man, everybody is so good and I'm having a hard time keeping it up. Ooh, somebody's over this way. Ooh, come on, oh, come on, I so got them there. Okay, wait a minute. I'm so done with this. Come on, <laughs> this is not good. You get out of here. <laughs> All right, run it, run it, run it. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna toss this over then. Um, Cause you can only focus on one thing at a time. So I might as well just uh, try to do that a little bit, okay. We can maybe do this. They're over there. I don't know where they went, okay. <laughs> I'm going back over this way. Whoa, come on. Oh, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run, put the mine down. No, the Kraken caught me. I just don't think I can fight a, a Tentabrella too much. I just have too much of a shield there. I'll have to sneak up on them, but with 20 seconds remaining. Uh, well, oh, I almost got them. It wasn't quite enough, unfortunately, so I will try to get over here and this cover up turret. If I can just find a way to do that. Obviously, I just need to be able to get more splats. Oh, they got splatted. Ah, oh man. Crazy round for sure, but Unfortunately, once again, not a win. I wasn't really expecting it. I was hoping that somehow we could push through, but not gonna happen this time. There was a point in time where it felt a little close, so for sure. So I think we'll leave that there. We're gonna be switching over to some ranked modes now. I think that'd be pretty fun. Um, just something more than just focusing on turf, because that's where the biggest weakness of the E leader is gonna be, of course. So we do get number one spot sister against another gold medal. And I got four splats this time. So that's a lot more than what I got before. I'm gonna stop there. And let's see what ranked modes are available for us. I'm probably not gonna do a series for obvious reasons. There's Splatons and then there's Rainmaker. So let's give Rainmaker a try. We just got A rank last episode. Well, A minus, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna keep going with this one and see if we can't win some Rainmaker on Sturgeon Shipyard and Humpback Pump Track. All right, we're, we are here at uh, Sturgeon Shipyard. And I'm gonna try to get a win here with Rainmaker. It might be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure we'll find a way through. Let's see if I can't do that. You know what, if we have to, we'll set a mine up like that. And I'm just trying to give some problems to them. Uh, I can definitely break that a little bit. They're gonna get a little bit closer to it for sure. And I know that I'm supposed to be the one holding the point, but if I see an opportunity to get ahead with this Rainmaker, I'm gonna take it. Okay, uh, okay, I thought it would hit that great thing over there. It actually made a cool shot and landed right over there. But honestly, like, we, we went somewhere with it. We're at 82 points, we take the lead with that now. Um, I'm just gonna jump over like that. We have the Rainmaker again, that's great. Now we lost Rainmaker, not too surprising to be honest, but I do wanna get this maybe just right over this way. And as soon as they try to get it, they're gonna go over there, huh? Okay, getting over here then. Oh, I'm trying to get you. Ah! Oh man, I need to be able to hide better spots than that, but this is just, I know I'm supposed to be up there holding the point, but I just don't like doing that. <laughs> Uh, they lost to Rainmaker, and that's sort of the thing. You know, obviously I'm trying to play the weapon how it's supposed to be played, but I don't think I should play it in a way that's not comfortable to me, because I feel like that's just as bad as, oh, come on, I almost got you there. 
So close. Put the mine down. We can work on popping this thing. I saw somebody way over that way. I'm throwing the, the wave breaker out. And then I'm just charging my shot because right about here, oh, that didn't really reach. Will they throw that at me? They sort of will, which honestly, I, I feel like that's a wasted opportunity. Rainmaker is reset. Oh, hi. Okay, come on. Can I win the battle between the other <laughs> charger player? Not quite, but once again, if nobody else is gonna grab it, I happily will, because I think we could. Why didn't it launch? Why didn't, it, that was weird. I let go of the button. It looked like it was gonna launch and then it just didn't. So I swam back in and it was just done. So that didn't like help me push it any farther. I got one more point out of it. I really think I could have gotten to the checkpoint, but I just didn't even waste any time trying to launch it then. A little upsetting to say the least, but. Ah, oh, I'm trying to reach you over there. I don't, I think you can actually arrange me. That's unfortunate. Okay, here comes that Booyah Bomb and everything else too, which honestly, let them waste it. Okay, I got them once. Can I get them twice is the question. The answer is no, the answer is no, I can't. I mean, I got one little shot on them there, but it's not enough. I don't know where my team's at right now. They're probably just fighting other people. Oh my goodness, they lost to Rainmaker. We are still in the lead, but just by one measly point. If they try to take that thing. I just gotta be able to hit them. Oh, I finally get them. All right, I'm getting up here. I'm covering up turf as much as I can. Oh, I see you. But can I defeat you? Or will this happen? Okay, I get one spot, it's something. If my team can get out here and just start trying to pop it, maybe that's better. I thought that they would be able to follow through more, but I think they just sort of got defeated there. Oh, this is stressful. Come on, come on, come on. They have the Rainmaker, but where are they really gonna go for it? Oh, they're gonna try to get up here. Oh, come on, that hit them, but it wasn't a full thing. Come on. Ah, oh, I tried to get them there. I'm so frustrated, come on. Jeez. We'll get back over there as soon as we can, but it looks like with that they've taken the lead. Ooh, come on. Right there, nope. They're just able to jump around all crazy like, and that helps them out so much. I'm putting this down. I'm gonna get almost popped by an auto bomb. Ugh. Up this way. I see you over there. No, you don't. What is, who's throwing this stuff? I don't know. I'm tossing this over. That will hopefully help. Oh, come on. It's so hard to land shots, but one minute remaining. No, give me that back. Hi guys, uh, fancy seeing you all here. I was just hoping I could at least get one trade spot there, but couldn't happen. Oh man. We have a less than one minute to take this and get the lead. I'm the only person who's actually brought it out any distance, so. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, just don't want that happen, I guess. Ooh, the Booyah Bomb coming in. I don't know if going this way is gonna be the plan anymore. You gotta go, if we're gonna go, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm the worst, I just can't do it. It's just not my kind of weapon. Um, we were able to bring it a little bit farther, but it's right where we had it before, so we need to grab it right now and just pull it to the wind. That's our only chance, and they're not gonna let us have that chance. It's game over, we can't, we just got wiped out. I don't think our team is synergizing super well either. It just feels like I'm trying to work with them, but. I'm never where they are. Uh, oh, almost got you there. Rough round. I was sort of expecting it, but ugh, rough round. I guess we'll see the results here in just a moment. We'll only lose a couple of points, but hopefully we can win something at some point today so we can gain some points back. 19 to 45 will be our final score. I'm pretty sure I was the only player on our team to really bring the Rainmaker anywhere. Maybe next time we'll work out a little bit better in that way. So let's see, what medals do we get here? Even though the medals don't matter too much in single rounds, we do get two gold medals, score booster and spot assist, as well as weight breaker user. Minus three points isn't too bad. We still need to get 303 points for the next one, so just gotta keep working on it. And, ooh, okay, that's at least a little bit of an upgrade. And maps and modes have been updated, so maybe we'll get something better, maybe we'll get something a whole lot worse. If it's Clan Blitz again, I'm gonna be really sad. I guess we'll see in just a second. Okay, let's get back over there and see what's going on for our next round. It will be Tower Control, Brian Water Springs, and Wahoo World. That might work out a little bit better. Brian Water Springs is our next round. I'm hoping we can make some stuff happen here. It's Tower Control. I don't think I've ever played Tower Control on this map. So this might be a cool new experience. But you know, with Tower Control, I shouldn't have like, you know, this one focal point 
to put all of our shots into that I can hopefully get a couple of spots, help our team out that way. With that being said, as we're heading into this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Eagle Eater 4K? Is this a weapon you enjoy? Have you played this one before? I would love to hear all about it. I'm gonna put the mine over here. And then as you get closer, oh, come on. I, I feel like I was so close to getting you. I'm out of ink now, so I just need to hold it back for a second. And then, I know you're up there. You hop back down. I'm just trying to wait for that perfect shot. It didn't work. Uh, but they lost the tower. I see you over there. Um, somebody jumping over to me. Ooh, come on. Oh, they got me, they got me. I think I got one little shot on them, but I was right when I got the wave breaker too, so that was a bit of a mess. I need to hide in a, a sneakier or safer spot at the least, but no matter where I go, they're gonna be trying to hunt me down. Like, that's just how it works when you play a charger like this. And you can see there's this one signpost here, so you can't really be up here constantly. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Come on, if I can just get a little bit more. There it is, wave breaker time. I'm tossing it down there like that. Somehow our team gets a wipe out. That's awesome. If I could just get up here, put the mine down, I think that'd be really good. Because a lot of them are gonna try to come up from here, I think, maybe. Ooh, almost, almost. Back it up a little bit. I'm getting over here then. Fill up on ink for a second, but I gotta help spot that person. So, gotta get back onto here. Um, and I see you over here with a Clash Blaster, or a Rapid, or whatever that is. Yeah, there's a Clash Blaster. I'm not surviving for long. They actually have two Clash Blasters? That is insane. Um, and nobody on that tower staying on that tower for very long at that rate. At least not on our team. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, okay. I see you way over there. I'm not quite gonna be able to land that shot, though. You have to charge up for a second. And if I could just wait for somebody to pop up. Somebody's over there with the Trizuka. There you are. Okay, you know what, you know what? That was pretty good. If I could just, maybe even just cause some distractions, and then, oh, did I get you? I think I almost got you. Um, uh, the, not good. I did not play that well at all. I mean, at least the Wavebreaker was a little bit of a distraction. We've taken the lead with it too, so that's amazing. I don't think we can do too much more here because a lot of us got splatted, but we're in the lead now. They took the tower. They gotta ride it all the way back. I think I just put this down here. Ah, the tower got in the way. Come on, really? This is a mess. Where are you? I mean, if you want to use a Booyah Bomb on me of all people, go for it. It's sort of a waste of a Booyah Bomb because I'm just standing there. Okay, come on, come on. Get back out there. They lost the tower, which is really good for us. I'm getting out here like this for now. Covering up some of their stuff. Once again, if I could set one of those up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't believe those aren't landing. Oh. Really is a learned skill to be able to make these shots work. So upsetting. I'm waiting right here for a second. And then we're just gonna try to get you. Oh, at least I got somebody there. I had to sort of turn real quick with it. They might take the lead back. Oh, they do. A heartbreaking situation. But it's not over, it's not done. Come on. Come on! I got the X marks to spot and everything. It's still not enough. Somebody's right there. What? Okay, whatever. Oh my gosh. Come on. Getting this out there like that. Covering this stuff up. There are checkpoint two. Wait, are they still on the tower? I guess they were. Okay, you know what? I'm tossing that out there like that then. I can't see anything at the moment. I, I couldn't see anything. Oh my gosh. Come on, they just threw the swap bomb right on top of me. I mean, my teammates are trying to push back here a little bit. I'll go like this. We took the tower. I would like to just get out this way for a second. And then, boom, mine right there. Back it up. Oh. Come on. I'll wait right here for a second. We're at checkpoint two. Hey, wait a minute. You get out of here. Get, able to get one of them, able to get one. I'll take it, we do get wiped out. We're fighting for the lead. They took it back. Oh my goodness. All right, well. They're gonna toss it way over there. If I could just somehow survive this, get back on that tower. Ooh, nope, not gonna work. The Trizook is just gonna obliterate me. Two seconds remaining. 
Can we get on there? No, we can't. So that's gonna be our fifth loss of today. Oh, it's rough. I just wanna see one victory with this weapon. I don't know if it's gonna happen. 71 to 76. Very rough. So, I feel like we played okay there at some spots. Obviously, it's just one of those things where there's not really a, a tip to pick up from just like one round of playing. I feel like it's just having that general repetitive skill of being able to aim up and get the splats. And I've never been good at that in this game specifically. I've never really liked how aiming has sort of worked in Splatoon when it comes to like specific aiming. I've always liked just more general shot weapons. So we'll keep trying it. I don't know how that's gonna work out for me, but I really do wanna get at least one win with the weapon. Back on Brinewater Springs, I mean, we were close to winning last time, right? It was, it was, it was a competitive match for sure. So maybe we can make things happen here. If we want, we'll see in a moment. Okay, getting back out there. Right now, my main interest is just trying to get, you know, like a mine out there or something. I really want to try to be difficult to them with the mines. Oh, so close, so close. There's definitely some intuitiveness of just knowing exactly where everybody is gonna be too. Which you can't really get just from playing a couple rounds of the weapon. You just need like hundreds of rounds played with the weapon to really get that. Okay, yeah, and once they get on top of me like that, I'm just trying to find some places to cover up so we can get the wave breaker. They get me pretty good with the Splatana Wiper, but we are starting this in the lead. We get past checkpoint one. So I guess in the distraction to, you know, knock me out. The rest of the team was able to make something happen. Um, I don't think anybody is on the tower right now. I see you way over here. I couldn't quite catch you. Uh, I know that you're about to try to get me right here. Not happening, mister. All right, we go back over here. Boom. And then get over here. Sneak up on you. There we go. They took the tower though. Where is the tower? By the way, I got so distracted by all that. Oh, wait. Come on, come on. Got you! Oh, we're doing something here. They're past checkpoint one. Not for long, right? Hopefully. Um, oh, here they come with all this stuff. I need to go over here. We lost the lead, but it's okay. I feel like this is one we can actually take back. I'm gonna head down here for now. Go over this way and then try to get you. Even if you go back this way, I can just... There we go, just barely got you. That was almost a disaster. Okay, great great job there. I'm gonna throw some booyahs out to my team. We got the wipeout somehow too. Oh man, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can just go out here, I can um, place one of these down, do that, and then even if I get splatted, it will damage them down. It'll keep them distracted enough for my team to maybe do something. We lost the tower though. Maybe jump to a teammate. Oh no. Ooh. Getting over here. Oh, I saw them over there for a second. Oh, we got them! I can't believe that shot. We're actually doing stuff now. Oh, the autobomb's going right for me. Gotta run. We lost the tower again. They are really trying to get me here. If I could just make some separation, put the mine down for if they chase me, they really want to get us right now. So I'm just trying to get to a safer spot. I saw you up there, at least for a second. I unfortunately can't get you. Uh, Oh, come on. They just know that I'm gonna be here, and the moment I get my special, every single time is when we get splatted. We're still in the lead here, so if we can just play defensively and hold it that way, we took the tower back. That's exactly what I mean. Ooh, awesome. One of our teammates at the least here is playing super duper well. I think I see a lot, one person sort of splatting a lot of them. I guess we'll see at the end of it, but come on, come on. I'm just gonna give it everything I got. We got a little drink over there. I'm gonna do this, toss this here right about there might be a good idea for it. And if I could get it this way, and then I see you. Again with you, sort of falling and then not falling and really, really confusing me. That happened a few rounds ago in turn four too. Where people like fall and then they somehow get back up. It's really weird. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that was actually really, really good. Uh, I need to be careful. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be enough. I thought that, I don't know why I thought I could hide behind the wall. That's exactly how that weapon does not work. A minute and 20 seconds is what's left here as we get back out in the field. We're still in the lead, but not by a huge amount. This is definitely an amount that they could take back. Uh, can't reach him from there. I'm just gonna chill out for a second. And then right about now, 
Man, that is a crazy range, the more I'm thinking about it. That is crazy that we can reach the other side of it from here. Whoa, oh, they're really trying to get me. They don't like that I'm over here, doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the mine like right here. Come on, ah! Oh. I know that they're coming around from somewhere. Uh, ah, uh, okay, okay. Throwing the wave breaker over. I don't know if that'll actually, it's immediately, immediately destroyed. That was a heartbreaker. All that hard work for that wave breaker and it's gone. Um, okay, you're going away. That still got me? There's no way that did. What? Okay, if you say so. All right, we're going over here. They took the tower. Ooh, I'm trying to get them. Okay. Oh my goodness, it didn't reach. I got one, I got one of them. 10 seconds remaining, if you guys can just hold them back. Hold them back, that was huge. Somebody got a double splat there. We took the tower for three seconds remaining. Can we get the win? Yes, we can. Oh man, that was crazy. So, with all the hard work we put in, we are finally getting a win. Mostly just because of our teammates, or they did so, so good for being able to carry me there. We only got one silver medal. Wave Breaker user, thank you to everybody who just made that a whole lot easier for me. <laughs> oh man, really tough weapon. I don't think I'll ever be quite good at a weapon like this, but you know, that was still fun. Um, we got 911 points, eight splats, seven splat, se splatted seven times, and it looks like we'll have two more points than what we started with. So there's something. We get the level 14 for our catalog. I think now is a good time just to drop out. You know, six rounds with the E-Leader 4K, one of them being a win is all I can really ask for. So we'll spend 5,000 coins on our first play of the day right over here, and we get three of the uh, ability chunks. Nothing too crazy exciting. We'll see what uh, Judd has to say. Splash walls and big blubbers can block your ink from hitting your an opponent. But if either gets hit by a splat bomb or a suction bomb, the bomb will explode right then. Don't give opponents hiding near a splash wall a chance to relax, outsmart them. But on the other paw, if you set up a splash wall, opponents can do this to you. Oh, wow, so press R to throw suction bombs and break the targets. They'll explode as soon as they touch a splash wall. Whoa, I didn't know that was a thing. That makes so much sense. So, interesting. Gotta keep that in mind for sure. All right, well, learning a few tips from Judd, playing not so good with this weapon, but you know, I'm having some fun, so that's great. I really was excited that we at least won, won one round with this weapon. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the Elite 4K, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.